right, for those of you paying attention, let me show you real quickly what I did. So it can't see a whole lot, but right there is a little stepper motor. Uh, wow, that's great focus. Anyway, there's a little stepper motor right there that I rewired from a unipolar to a bipolar. Got it wired down here to the second extruder port. And uh, I have it set up here. And I quote unquote homed it. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this. So it's just a simple circle. Just like that. It just goes in a circle. But I wanted to be able to actually like make this thing go in a circle. And make sure it works. So I'm going to hit go. And what's going to happen hopefully with uh, Matt's little program that he wrote. We're testing it out now. Um, this thing should basically follow the direction of travel. This camera sucks. I'm sorry. Let me uh, let me try to autofocus this thing. There. Now if I can just hold it there. So there's a little piece of tape on there. Now it it's currently stepping, then moving, then stepping, then moving. It's not a fluid movement yet. Um, hopefully we can get it into a fluid movement. That's the idea. But we're gonna see what happens right now. So. Here it goes. It's homing-ish. Now it should always follow the direction of travel. I'll try to hold still so you can see it. So once it gets to the other side, it's going to flip a 360 because that's how we have it programmed right now. But it's supposed to be following the direction of travel. Which it appears to be doing. So it's going to flip a 180. Let's see if we can see it this way any better. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. But it's progress. It is progress. So right now I'm using the extruder as the output. And uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be the final solution. But for the moment, it works. I've got it programmed to be 360 steps per millimeter. Uh, which is full, one full revolution, so you can just throw the numbers in there like um, if I punch in right there uh, it's not focused but I've got 360 F2000 if I send that it should go one full revolution and then stop so it seems to be working it is not perfect and we got a long way to go but that's first step for guiding either a knife or in my case I'm gonna be using the vacuum bed and the coil winder so thumbs up god bless thanks for watching bye bye